a lot of times uh, sculptors will have a really hard time understanding the shoulder area and especially when you see it in a model and you see it in motion there is just an enormous amount of stuff happening there and it's really hard to make sense of you know what's what so let's take a quick look at uh, one way to understand some of the complexity of this. And we're going to use a brand new tool inside of ZBrush. We're going to use DynaMesh. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and say append a polysphere. Okay, this one let's just delete. And we're going to come and turn DynaMesh on. So we go to geometry, we go to DynaMesh, and I'm going to turn group on. Alright, if you're watching the bicep one, I turned it on and then turned it off. In this case, I want it on. And so I want to sketch out where all of these muscles are uh, going from, coming to, because it, this was really a difficult part for me. Um, really understanding what happens when somebody raises their arm is is difficult, and uh, there's a lot of uh, variety in humans. So when one person raises their arm, it's one way. If another raises it, you know, you see different muscles, different fatty deposits, things like that. Uh, but let's just stay real focused here so let's talk about what we're what we're going to illustrate right now so we've got a few muscles we've got the infraspinatus okay just gonna come around and wrap onto the onto the side of that that humerus okay then you've got the terrace minor which is gonna do the same thing okay and then you've got the terrace major, which comes around to the front of the humerus. And then you get the tricept, long head of the tricep, which squeezes in between these guys. So it comes right up, goes underneath the terrace minor, above the terrace major, and uh, inserts in there then the lateral head of the tricep, sorry, the medial head, then the lateral head and all of that stuff kind of goes in, and then you get the deltoids on top of all of that and all the form that they make. Things get complicated. Let's just talk about the scapula muscles. So I'm going to drag from one end to the other. Let's make sure DynaMesh is on, transparency is off. Okay, and I've got the right model. So where's, there it is. Okay, in order to make this work, I'm going to click from the rib up. Oh, there's just something happening with DynaMesh. That's fine. I'm going to decrease the size, click it again, and make sure that I'm coming from one point to another. Okay. So let's go to our stroke palette, which I've got over here. Make sure bend is off. And just want to get the general position of stuff. So there we go. Snapshot that. Okay, then I'm going to move that down. Terrace major is going to be much smaller. All right, snapshot that. Come around to the front of the humerus like this. It's going to be bigger. Snapshot that. And let's put the long head of the tricep in there. Okay, it attaches really close to the glenoid cavity. Really close. And there we go. All right, and then now we can just do another one for the tricep itself, for the medial and lateral heads. I'll put one in here, move it back a little bit, and that makes me want to move the, the other one, so we'll have to adjust that. Okay, so move brush. Uh, 
Let's come in, delete the curve if they seem to be getting in the way. And start to establish some of the shape. So it has to wend its way in between, so it needs to have some nice curve. Okay, and then the tricep here, we need to make room for the lateral head and the uh, medial head, so I'm going to do some inflation. And let's make sure it's coming down, it's connecting to the ulna. Yeah. The tricep is really only touching the humerus. It's originating along the humerus and inserting down here into the into the ulna. Okay, just dig that in and inflate it out a little. Obviously, too much. Okay. All right. So I think we're on to something here. Now let's start working on these guys. Move brush. I just want to make sure that they're snapped in there. And with the infraspinatus, I need to broaden that. It's a much broader muscle. Okay, smooth it out and then inflate what I need to. Let's come in here. Oops, don't want to do that just yet. And just pull it out a little bit. Okay, but make sure that this is fairly bulky. Regardless of whether or not there's room in there or anything like that, generally you want these muscles to be right up against each other. So. I'm going to take Terrace Major, or Minor, sorry, and I'm going to extend it to give me a little bit more room in there. Let's just increase that. There we go. Okay. I still have a Mask by Polygroup on, I think. Yeah, Mask by Polygroup. I'm going to turn that off for a moment so that. Uh, behavior I have is what is what you'll have. There we go. Just trimming that a bit. Of course, that's something that's going to depend upon build. But there you go. We've got a basic shoulder really quickly established. Okay, and then all the rest of the muscles that fit on there. But keep this in mind. This wending of the terrace major minor and the tricep the terrace major going underneath minor going above the tricep coming in between the two of them and then the rest of the tricep body flowing around i hope that helps and look for more information in the anatomy 2.0 class this is where we construct it from scratch much like you just saw and really put all of the knowledge into motion, including sculpting it in a pose and in motion. Hope you enjoyed.